20 mil around the sides, 100 mil on the bottom, and that's going to overlap this little painting and come into the image. So a lot of people would just frame watercolour just like that with a natural matte board. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. But what they used to do, and what is still actually a nice technique, is to apply a wash onto the board that actually gives a tint of colour, but not a whole solid razor. So, Seems to work very nicely because it, it takes the um, takes the, the pencil off or anything you need to rub off and the remnants tend to hold that um, residue and then you can brush off the, um, the natural the bevel. piece of rub. Although I'm not trying to paint the bevel itself but I just want that inner section. So I use up all of that. Now it's a very light effect, but we're going to combine that. This is to try and give that sort of antique parchment look. Now the ends are not stuck. This is fairly crucial at this point. The ends themselves are not stuck, but I like to take something, and I used to use my ruler, but that one's got a little bit of rubber missing off the back. So I might just use a piece of mat board that I had there for gluing, although I'm using the other side so I'm not getting any glue onto the board. I like to put something on there and just apply a little bit of pressure just to get that to stick. It doesn't need long. And then what we do is we come along and we okay. take our next. Um, often we have a lot of, uh, if, you, if you ever have anything that you, um, you want to learn how to frame, please let me know in the chat because uh, then it can go on the list. Um, we always have topics coming up and as, as, we, uh, as we get time, we like to cover what people need to learn about. And so although a lot of making a frame, some, making some areas of frames is common sense, there are different things that go into making the true uh, craft of framing and really helping with a, a lot of interesting design. So that one has a little line on there. Just, I'm just...